are what you are, aren't you? That's about, about it, really. It's just, um, it's an itch that needs scratching. <laughs> you know, and painting's a primitive, it's a primitive thing. It's a human instinct. It'll always be there. We'll always want to make a mark. There's so many different forms of abstraction, but um, I think I paint what you can't see. Things that exist, but you can't see it. That's my challenge. It intrigues me. You know, for example, how would you paint a smell or a sound or that kind of thing? Everyday life I get my inspiration from. You know, for example, the paintings that I'm producing at the moment are, um, are a comment, if you like, on the way um, these days you have to be almost a jack of all trades, you know. Most people don't only have one kind of job. You know, we're very fractured. There's a need, um, a necessity for me anyway, to have a kind of a beauty in art as well. So I, I hope that, um, that I'm creating something that's quite beautiful as well. As most artists know, it's quite difficult to get a decent sized studio space. So when I moved into this house, you know, I saw the space at the bottom of the garden. So um, it was a good space in order to build a, a studio. So um, I built this one myself. I like to use a piece of glass as a palette because it's easy to clean, basically. It's just uh, simple, simple logic. I tend to make a lot of paint. A lot of, I, I mix a lot of paint when I'm, when I'm mixing a colour. It's much easier to, to mix it on a big piece of glass. There's nothing more intimidating than a blank canvas. I cover it with paint as soon as I can for surprise. And, and at the painting, you get to a stage where the painting's talking to you. So and you, it's a reaction to what's going on on the surface, the colour, the composition. So if you can um, come to a canvas that's not white and it's already got some paint on it, then you react to the colour that's on there. I tend to spend a lot of time thinking about my work. I'm constantly um, trying to expand my mark-making vocabulary. and I don't care what I use to make a mark. I'm not a traditionalist about, you know, brushwork and all that kind of thing. It, it doesn't really matter. Occasionally I will use um, music as, a, as an analogy to what I'm doing with, uh, in, in my creative process. It's like songwriting or writing music. It's, it's, there's lots of similarities there. Uh, putting two notes together, the warmth of the note. You could say exactly the same about the colour in a painting. It's like making music. If music is how feelings sound, then I, I think painting could well be how, how it looks. to walk a tightrope and uh, quite often the paintings will, will, uh, will be um, on the edge of disaster and sometimes they go over the edge but that's the fun of it that's that's what makes it exciting because you you know you want that danger element otherwise nothing happens nothing creative happens you've got to be on the edge to, to find something creative you've got to surprise yourself so you know when I first put a color down it doesn't matter what colour it is because I'm going to react to it and it might surprise me, it might throw up something interesting. If an artist says it's art, then it's art. Because the artist has intent. Intent to make art with it. It might look simple on the surface, but it's not. It's, it's actually, there's quite a lot, there's a thought process gone behind it. So it's then therefore art. It's very difficult to actually know when a painting's finished, but I, I, I have a process whereas if I think a painting is finished, then I will leave it in the studio for a little while. When I say a little while, it would be a couple of days or whatever. And I, every time I come in, I look at it, check to see if I think, it's, think it is finished. And then it, it, the next process is to bring it up to the house. I'll, ha I'll live with it for, a, for maybe a week or two in the house as well. 
Sometimes I'll, I'll give a, a painting a title. In fact, I quite, I quite often do, mostly do, really, because um, I'll, I like the viewer to go off and in the general direction of what the work is about, but um, I also like to leave plenty of space for their own interpretation. It's, it's part of the, the joy of, of looking at that art, is to actually interpret it and discover it uh, yourself. And um, So the, the title is there just um, to give the, the viewer a general direction as, as to what the work's about. I think there's still uh, so much to explore and express through the language of, of abstract painting. You know, we've journeyed to the to the outer edges of what's uh, physically possible in painting, but we've not yet exhausted the possibilities of the language of it.